back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here welcome back to another vlog we're actually going for a night away tonight so Mark and I are going away child free which is quite nice I would so, say it's been a while but it's not actually been that long when was the last time we did it? in the summer wasn't it? oh it's the Cotswolds yeah. in the summer um, we're just going to Exeter so it's really close um, it's just a flying visit. We're actually meeting, we're gonna meet your best man tonight, yes. the best man for our wedding, one of Fine. Mark's really close friends. So we're gonna be meeting him tonight, which will be really nice, go for some drinks and dinner. Go around the shops. Uh, go around the shops. So we'll take you around the shops today and see what's in store, see what's new. We've got the snacks at the ready. Shall I show you what we got? Oh, yeah. We're going for dinner tonight. So we've got ham and cheese sandwich, Mark got for me. And then Mark's got a chicken, bacon and mayo sandwich. And then of course we've got Pringles. I have to have a stop and have a little picnic. Who do you think's got what flavour? Halfway down. Sour cream and onion. And then... We say you don't like these green ones, original. yet you love sour cream. I hate the smell of the original ones. You like the taste I hate though? the smell of these. Do you like the taste? Nah. It's just weird though, I prefer isn't it? these. And then we've got Swiddies, of course. And drinks. and drinks. All good stuff. All the good stuff today for our road trip, which is very exciting. I, I literally packed this morning. You know what I'm like, last minute. You can't like these trips so when you go minute. away in the morning. So we're going to take you with us. Let's go to Exeter. Right, so first shop that we went into was H&M. They've got loads and loads of spring summer items in. Lots of colour already, which I am really here for. But with the weather being so cold, I just can't bring my mind to get summer clothes just yet. I loved this coat. They had lots of really bright blues in. I thought this would be really good for like a holiday with a white bikini underneath. I thought that would be so pretty. And also this dress was really lovely. I liked the polka dot and the fact that it's a wrap dress. I think they're always quite flattering. I also loved this, again, another really cute holiday item. Lots of polka dot everywhere actually, and lots and lots of stripes. I like this one because it's quite a thin knit, but it was a little bit short for me, so I wasn't too keen on the length of it. They had some nice little dresses and lots of pastels as well. I'm loving green at the moment, and as you can see, there is lots of green in store. Then I tried a couple of bits on, I wasn't too keen on any of the items I tried on, but I thought I'd show you anyway. I like the look of this shirt. Again, this would be quite nice opened up in the summer with a bikini underneath or a white t-shirt, but like this, I didn't really like it. This was another wrap dress that I tried. I loved the color of it, but it just didn't fit quite right. The arms felt a little bit long and the bust area was a little bit too loose. This was a size medium. I'm, you know, a 14 and it was just too big on the bust area. The trousers, not very flattering at all but they were really comfortable, but yeah, not flattering. They were like a stretchy material. This coat I liked, but I don't need another coat. And the belt was so, so long. I just thought I liked the look of a smart black coat. Um, yeah, anyway, we popped into Primark. Vlogging in here was so hard because it was so, so busy. So I was trying to be really discreet. So the footage might not be amazing, but here's just a little snippet of a few of the things that I saw in store. Again, Primark had a lot of colourful items in store as well, lots of casual pieces, lots of going out pieces, and I even noticed some summer pieces creeping into stores, so lots of nice bikinis. I saw some Hunza G dupes in there, which was good, and this I thought was quite 70s, not too keen on the colour palette here, but I do like the pink, and here is some of the bikinis that I saw. I love this green, so, so nice, but yeah, that was everything that I saw in store today. Okay, so we made it to our hotel now. We're right in the centre of Exeter, which is so ideal. Did that just move then? I feel like that moved. Um, and look, I've got a bath behind me. That's well switched. I've never had a room with a bath in it. Have you? Have we never stayed in a room with a bath, like, right in the main so. room? No, I don't think so. I don't think we have, have we? It's a new thing, honestly. Very snazzy. Well, nice. So we've been shopping today. It's so, <laughs> so busy. Oh, my God. The queue in Primark was literally... We said what we're going to do is we're going to go back tomorrow and have a look in the morning because... The queue in Primark was insane. It was actually like nearly out the shop, wasn't it? 100 meters. And then I went into Zara and the queue in Zara was massive as well. And they've got like sale bits in there, haven't they, at the minute? Yeah. So I went and got some sale stuff and I thought, I can't be bothered to try it on. So I thought, I'll just go buy it. Massive queue downstairs. So I thought, I'll go upstairs and, go and pay upstairs because there's always like a less of a queue up there. Queued for ages. Mm. And then I got to the till and she was like, sorry, this is just for exchanges. 
I was like, oh, can you not just serve me? She's like, no, sorry. So I was just like, oh. <laughs> so I ended up leaving because we had to check in and I didn't have much time. So I'll probably pop back there tomorrow as well. But Your husband's too busy, isn't he? Oh, I, don't, I get overwhelmed when the shops are too busy. I like to go when it's quiet. So anyway, what time is it? It's about 20 to 4 now and we're going for dinner at 6. So we're just going to have a bit of chill time. TV on. TV on. Cup of tea, innit? Cup of tea. Get crazy. <laughs> Where's this? We need some wine. We're actually working with the hotel brand that has brought us here today, but it's for Instagram, so. You like but it's there, really yeah. nice in here. You know what I'm like for decor. This has given me all the inspo for a bit of bold colour. Look at all the bold colour. I love this headboard. Scallop, yeah. Scallop. So it is kind of scallops, but it kind of goes up, doesn't it? It's so it's nice. And the lights. Oh, oh I love it. You're going to be tired later, because there's lots of steps here today. How many steps have you done? 12,000. Where have you been more than me? What are you on? You're, you're You've just been to the car, haven't you? Yeah, that's a long one. I'm only on five six. What? <laughs> you were sitting down this morning, weren't you? I'm not on I was sitting down this morning, to be fair. Yeah. You were doing all the bits in the morning. I did all the hooping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like. Oh, you get clean, baby. Breaking the tea bag. Can't do anything without a tea, can we? Wow. I love a mini bar snack. Mm. Like hotel snacks. This is really nice. This is cute. This is a good idea actually. You can definitely get one of these from Home Sense and then put your teas in there. Or like if you have a guest bedroom and you could just do something like that, that's really cute. You know this like little container where the, all the teas are? Oh, yeah. This glass. Oh, this is hot chocolate. Look, we can have a little hot chocolate tonight. Oh, lovely. Right, I've got about an hour to get ready before we need to go for dinner. So I'm going to be really quick. Got my makeup bag ready. I love this makeup bag. This is by, who is this by now? The Flatley Co. London. And it's such a nice makeup bag. I've got all my essentials. Just had a nice shower. Feeling fresh. I'm feeling rushed though, so I need to be quick. So I probably won't chat very much because I need to get ready. going for dinner. Are you, you ready? Look, you look great babe. Thank you, you look lovely. We're date dressed night. up now, We're having we? a little date night aren't we? Well, going to the club aren't we now? <laughs> In the club I don't think so. Yeah, we're not. We've never been out in Exeter have we before? Even though we live like, quite close. Right, a few times. Oh have you? Yeah, stag dudes and whatnot. Mm. Timepiece. Timepiece. Everybody lives in Exeter goes timepiece don't they? Do they? Uh, if you're <laughs> in there you'll see us in there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the down. oldest in there probably. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll do a quick outfit of the night. So this shirt or blouse is from Next. I got it around Christmas time, so it should still be in there. And then I got this bag today from H&M because I realized I didn't have a little clutch bag with me. These trousers are from, where are these trousers from? 
Primark stretchy faux leather trouser, so they're nice and stretchy. Got a bit of give in them, which is what I need when I'm going out for dinner. My shoes are very high. These are River Island. I've had these for a few years now, but they are extremely high and my feet hurt already. So that is my outfit of the night. I might tuck it in. I don't know if I'm brave enough for the tuck, um, but that is my outfit. And then my hair, I haven't done any, anything to my hair actually. Not done anything to my hair. I've just popped a little clip up here just to give me some volume. Large. I'm definitely getting like my taste buds must be mature. Yeah. Because you don't mind it. Mind it too much. No. No. You like red wine. <laughs> At least it's cold. Yeah. I don't mind it when it's cold. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like red wine because it's like warm. It's like no, I don't like it warm. Not for you. so as you can tell i'm home it is a new day it's actually monday today we had such a nice weekend a lovely lovely stay in exeter we had such a lovely night on saturday night we went out in exeter um i didn't obviously vlog because i was having too much of a nice time to get the camera out and start vlogging but we had such a lovely time went for dinner which was gorgeous and then we went out for drinks with our friends so yeah it was a really lovely evening we had such a nice time and then on Sunday morning, we didn't do an awful lot. We didn't actually go back into the shops because they didn't open till 11. And we're early birds. So we got up really early, had breakfast, had a little bit of a relaxing time. And then we headed back home to the boys. So that was really nice. And we spent the afternoon with our family. So that was a lovely, lovely weekend, actually. So, so nice. I thought I'd show you a couple of the bits that I bought when I was in Exeter. I didn't get an awful lot because it was a flying visit. Saturdays are super busy. It was literally manic in Exeter So I didn't really get an awful lot, but I wanted to get a couple of bits like replenish some bits and All of that kind of stuff. So first of all, you know, I love a beanie So I got this little black one, but look how cute this has got a little daisy on it. That's so cute It's a little bit of a shorter style beanie, but this still fits me like a proper beanie if that makes sense it's not one of those really small ones so it's a really nice one because the other black beanie that i've got has got a bobble on it and i don't always want the bobble so i got that one from h&m and that one was 9.99 so i got that i also picked up some earrings just some cheap little hoop ones they came in a set actually which i've got here with a few different styled little hoops and i like the size of these is this upside down I oh, know this way here, look. So those are all of the different earrings that I got, which I thought were really, really lovely. I like these like more chunky ones because they're quite small, but they're still quite chunky. I could be quite fussy when it comes to earrings. I don't like anything that weighs my ears down. So sometimes these chunkier ones can be really heavy. They had quite a few in there that were just so heavy. I thought those are really annoying. <laughs> they would really annoy me if I could really feel them in my ears. So I got these ones because they're really light and they cost £12.99, which I think is really good. There's loads of different earrings in there. I would prefer them obviously if they're real gold, but these are just good to kind of pop in for the day, take them out and you're done so those are the bits that i got in there oh i also got these earrings as well um i was thinking of wearing them for the night but i didn't end up wearing them so i just thought they were a little bit too summery but i thought they were super pretty and you might see i have shown you before i've got a little hairband actually that's exactly like these they're like little pearls earrings so they're just little hoops but with pearls in them which i thought would be so pretty on holiday in the summer and they'll just like catch the light really pretty so i got a pair of those and they were only 3.99 so really cheap but um i thought they would like make an outfit look quite pretty so i got those and then what else did i get i got a bag actually because i didn't have a clutch bag with me I only had like a really large bag and i like this bag the only thing i don't like is that it's got silver detailing on it i prefer gold but actually this year i feel like i'm going to be mixing metals a lot more so silver and gold so i have got a little oh have i got a gold one in there no i usually wear silver huggies and then i've got my gold one here as well so I'm, I'm thinking about mixing a little bit more so i didn't mind it too much but i would have preferred the hardware was gold but yeah it's just this little small clutch bag just for you know nights out not that i ever go out but you know when you just need a small bag I've got one now, so I've got that. Um, but yeah, that was everything I got from H&M. I didn't bother getting any clothes. You would have seen that I tried a few little items on and I didn't really, you know, nothing really took my fancy. So that was that. 
I'm just not really in the mood for shopping at the moment clothes wise there's not really much that I want or need I do need to sort my whole wardrobe out and go through everything but that's for another day anyway um I also went into Lush and I got I replenished my bath bombs that I love and I just got four of these so um oh yeah she gave me a little sample actually so I just got four of the butter balls I think they're called this is what they look like and I get these ones because one they are white <laughs> and we have got a stone bath so I do worry that if I put any of like the coloured ones in there that it would stain the bath if you've got a stone bath and you like lush products if you've tried any of like the coloured bath bombs in the bath has it stained it because I need to be super careful with the bath obviously because it's stone so these I love anyway and they've got like um I think that it's she butter in them or cocoa butter one of those and it leaves your skin so soft after a bath and it just you know your skin feels amazing moisturized I really like having these when I have a little pamper evening so I pop these in a glass jar that we've got in the bathroom so they smell lovely and yeah I just bought four of those to replenish because I'd used all the ones that I bought just after Christmas so I got that and then they did pop a little oh they popped a sample in there of the grass massage bar never tried that before it does smell like grass like freshly cut grass it's like a little sample i don't know what i'm meant to do with this obviously it's a massage bar so do i just am i meant to massage it onto my skin let me have a look we've got my phone right okay so it says you melt the bar directly onto your skin and massage the oils and butters in and if it's um cold just warm it between your hands to apply um, and reapply as needed okay nice i'm gonna give that a little try after i have my little pamper session so that is everything that i bought honestly nothing exciting but i thought i would show you anyway I need to pop these bits away now mark is actually downstairs he's outside making another bench so you know the bench that we made downstairs for our living room i just love that bench so much i'll show you the new blanket i got actually because i bought a new blanket to go on top of it so i'll show you that in a second but when my mum came around, she was like, oh my god, I love it. Please, can I have one? Um, so we're just making her one as a surprise, as a little gift. Mark's like, I'll go make it now. Um, don't tell her and we'll surprise her with it. So that is so cute. So he's making that at the minute whilst I do some editing and catch up on some work. But yeah, let me go show you the blankets that I bought. Milan is having a little sleep. Are you comfy there, Milan? Are you comfy there? Hello, sweet boy. You're getting so big. You're getting so big. I'll show you Gigi in a second. She's sleeping as well. But I wanted to show you the blanket that I got. So this is how I've styled the bench now. And I really like it like this. I think it looks fabulous. So the blanket is from Heritage of Scotland. I was just searching online for, you know, like tartan or checked blanket. And I saw this one on there. And it was only £12.99, I think. It was on sale. And I just think it works really perfectly there. I've just got some vintage books on top. And then this wooden bowl, which works really well, actually. Because it's the same kind of colour, isn't it? So I got that one. And I also got this other one which is in here which I need to restyle but this is the other one that I got so I love the colours of this it's also got these tassels on there but you could use a um, scarf if you wanted to if you've got any kind of scarves like this it would work the same but I really loved the pattern on these ones and the colouring it's really good quality as well Miss Gigi is currently sleeping up here this is her favourite spot she likes to look out the window hello sweet girl hello sweet girl are you comfy she's getting so big guys She's so sweet. That's your little bit of Gigi and Milan content for today. <laughs> I know you enjoy seeing them. Look how big she is. What a big floof. So Mark has made another bench for mum. I need like to it. stain it for you now, don't I? Huh? That looks so good. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Another one. I know, how long has that taken me? That's only taken about an hour and, yeah, hour and 15 half. maybe, hour and a half. Yeah, it transforms great. it once it's painted, doesn't it? I know, yeah, I need to stain it for you it's now really and then. Good, though. Looks really good. I battered all the legs. It's fab, she's going to be really happy with that, isn't she? Be right, wouldn't it? Yeah, love it, well done. Yeah. Okay, so it's time for bench reveal number two, three, two, one, ta-da! Mark has done an amazing job. Look at this. He's made another one for my mum. It's so lovely. So I have put this blanket on there and I'm actually going to give that to my mum and I've ordered myself another one because I feel like this just works so well with the bench. Look how nice it is. So we've got another one now and I just think it looks so, so perfect. She's going to love this in her bay window. What do you think of the bench? I think it looks fantastic. So I am actually going to go see my mum and dad tomorrow. 
So I'm going to take this to them and I think she's absolutely going to love it. I can't wait to give it to her. So nice. Mark's done such an amazing job making this for her. So it's such a sweet thing to do. So yeah, I can't wait to give it to her tomorrow when I go there for my weekly catch up so yeah that is the end of the vlog guys i really hope you enjoyed watching it don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video there's my other bench look two benches i think they look so cool thanks guys see you in my next video bye I never knew